I'm going to talk about when and how we should close the left lateral appendage during minimal invasive valve surgery. Let's start with the first question, when? In 2020, the European guidelines for management of atrial fibrillation suggested surgical occlusion or exclusion of the left lateral appendage for stroke prevention with a class 2B recommendation. The same was proposed in the American guidelines. In 2021, the result of Laos 3 trial have been published. The study compared patients with Chadva score greater than or equal to 2 with and without left lateral appendage occlusion during cardiac surgery. The study reported that the risk of ischemic stroke or embolism was significantly lower in patients who received left lateral appendage occlusion. Therefore, the European guidelines for the management of valvular heart disease changed in the same year. The left lateral appendage occlusion should be considered to reduce the thromboembolic risk with the class 2A recommendation. Furthermore, it is known that the left lateral appendage is an electrical focus site for atrial fibrillation. It was identified as an important non-pulmonary vein site and its electrical isolation was associated with better results after atrial fibrillation ablation. Indeed, it is an acknowledged strategy in current atrial fibrillation ablation guidelines. This slide shows how to practice a left lateral appendage electrical occlusion in Coxmates for procedure to improve atrial fibrillation ablation. So, how to close the left lateral appendage? The Laos 3 trial suggested to close it from inside or with an epicardial occlusion techniques like cut and sew or an epicardial occluder device. Among the latter, epicardial left lateral appendage clip occlusion also provides the electrical isolation of the left lateral appendage. For this reason, clip occlusion is the technique we favor. Our approach for minimal invasive valve surgery is transaxillary and we usually close the left atrial appendage with the Atricur Atricur Pro 2 device. We can easily access the transverse sinus to view the left atrial appendage by direct vision. Usually we prepare under the aorta to facilitate more distal clamping in order to make free space into the transverse sinus. We close the left atrial appendage during cardioplegic arrest at the end of the valve procedures. Positioning the handle of the signal clamp up on the chest we help to slightly lift the aorta from the transverse sinus. After positioning the Elizabeth retractor we take the left lateral appendage with a pledget for Roprolin to facilitate the insertion into the clip. It's not necessary to measure the dimension of the base of the appendage because during cardioplegic arrest it is empty and we can always safely choose the smallest sides of the clip. The device allows to tilt the tip according to anatomical needs and to release the clip in complete safety, always displaying the base of the appendage. Finally, we always check the current position of the clip. This is one case of mitral and tricuspid valve regurgitation with indication for double valve repair, ablation for atrial fibrillation and left lateral appendage occlusion. After the valvular procedure, we performed the crew ablation like the left key lesions of the Coxmates 4 procedure and then we positioned the clip to occlude the left lateral appendage. After the release of the clip, if we notice incomplete closure of the appendage, we can gently adjust the final position with two forceps, as we did in this case.
Immediately after the end of the procedure, we always check that the left atrium appendage is closed with transesophageal echo, although the best method for this check is the CT scan, you know. As we know, transaxillary is a direct view, operator-friendly, minimally invasive approach that allows complex combined procedures to be performed with the surgeon remaining in his air comfort zone as the chest is entered in front of the transverse sinus, exposure of the left atrial appendage is always very nice. In conclusion, surgical left atrial appendage occlusion during vast surgery reduces ischemic stroke. It enhances atrial fibrillation ablation efficacy. It is an easy, safe and fast procedure that can be performed in minimal invasive and the transaxillary allows great direct view left atrial appendage exposure and occlusion. Thank you for the attention.